This is... Okay. Okay. This is possibly the most adorable thing I've ever seen in a video game. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wii Hours here today playing Wanted Raccoon, which, to the best of my knowledge, is Hitman, but but I'm a raccoon. This was gifted to me by a very long time and very generous friend of the channel. He knows who he is, and he knows darn well he's been waiting for me to play Wanted Raccoon, nudging me in the chat section of our weekly live streams. Here we are, Wanted Raccoon. I know very little about it. I messed around with it for about 120 seconds, just testing some settings and whatnot, but I'm a raccoon, and we're gonna do some things. Well, first things first, I'm adorable. I am just a delight. I'm gonna hold space to wake myself up. Oh, I am just adorable. Look around. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think this is gonna be a long, long look at a raccoon butt for a while. A round indicator indicates current target. Oh, it's a different raccoon. Okay, let's go talk to a slightly different raccoon. To start a dialogue, I'll just go ahead and talk to Old Joe here. Good morning, Old Joe has glasses. Old Joe is not quite as adorable as me, but Old Joe is pretty adorable. Old Joe wants me to grab his backpack. Apparently Old Joe's the head raccoon around here, but he's passing the mantle or the backpack, as the case may be, on to me. I'm just going to wiggle my way over and talk to a squirrel, apparently. Should we be talking to squirrels? They're notoriously untrustworthy. Yeah, I just don't like the sound of this. I've met this squirrel for eight seconds and he's asking me to eat a strange mushroom. This is squirrels all day. This is what squirrels do, but I'll do it. I'll take the mushroom. Now what do I do with it? Oh, I've got it in my thing. Okay, well, I want to I wanna eat it then. Yeah, oh, there we go. I'm eating a mushroom. Adorably, I might add. Oh dear, now that I'm full, he's going to give me a World of Warcraft quest. He's going to have me go get, yep, I thought so, other mushrooms from other places. But I should be able to sprint now. Yes, now that I'm well fed, my little uh, stamina bar down there has gone from red to green. So I'm going to uh, raise a mushroom here and another one. And then uh, grab a few more. Probably go back to the raccoon, get another quest. And I've got sneak mode too. I don't know why I need sneak mode, but I've got it. I look very, very stealthy. I've taken off my backpack and I'm kind of nudging it with my nose. But I don't think we need to do that. I think we can just go ahead and uh, grab the mushrooms. Nobody seems to be putting up a fuss. I'm going to grab a few more because I can eat them. So it seems that I should probably have some extra food around. All right, a mole digging himself out of the ground. Mildly terrifying. Mildly, Harvey. Yeah, just go ahead and pop right out there. You know, you're not a pretty creature in the animal kingdom. You're not, well, you're not as adorable as me, for a start. I'm a, I'm a raccoon with a backpack. You don't get any more adorable than that. Anyway, uh, did I help with collecting food? Uh, take some stones to knock the apples down. Okay, I thought we were just going with mushrooms, Harvey, but you've got a different plan. All right, hold it to use it. Got it. Do that. Ah, I've got a, I've got a throwing arm. Okay, where, where, where do the apples live? Oh, over there in the apple tree, Dave. So if I go ahead and ah, I just lock right onto the apple, and then throw a stone. I got a good arm on me. I got a nice little arm on me. I'm gonna do that again. Give me another stone, and uh, let's get some more apples going on here. Let's target that guy right there, and boom, another one down. Do I? Oh, I need three. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna... Can I throw rocks at other things? Where's that squirrel? Uh, yep. Squirrel. 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 And boom. He seems unfussed by that. Okay, back to the apples. Okay, got some mushrooms. Got some apples. Gonna go back and talk to the squirrel. Sorry about throwing the rock at you, man. I was just kind of testing things out. Stump with mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, should I be... Okay, let's talk to Squirrely Squirrel here. Oh, I just dump all the food in front of him. All right. Um, the squirrel's terrifying, right? We're all we're all clear on that. There, there's no question that the squirrel is the most terrifying thing I've seen in this game, and I just saw a mole dig himself out of the earth. Oh, worse news. Now we got to go talk to a pigeon. Ask him if everything is all right in the forest. It's probably not. That's, that's kind of why I'm here. But let's go... Uh, I'm going to go talk to a pigeon, another notoriously untrustworthy animal. Can I jump? Oh, I can jump really high. I don't remember squirrels being able to do that, or raccoons, rather. Squirrels, raccoons, they're all nature's garbage eaters. 
you know, Pigeon, you could have parked yourself in a slightly more convenient place. You can fly. You could have just come right down to me and talked to me. You have distressing news. Something strange is happening at the edge of the forest, and you and Jack should have a look at that. I'm sorry, can you just clarify who Jack is? Is that... That's not Harvey. Harvey's the mole. Uh, uh, oh. Um... This may have gone wrong. No, no, it's fine. Everything is broadly fine. I can jump out of that hole. Is Jack the other raccoon? Is Jack the squirrel? Do I know Jack? Have we met? Oh, well, that's Jack. He's a raccoon, apparently. Hey, Jack, what's up? You were entrusted with a backpack. Uh, Jack, I was entrusted with THE backpack. THE backpack. It's the only one around. The definitive backpack, if you will. A pigeon saw something strange. Yeah, let's go check out what he saw. Are you- are you my companion now? Am I in charge of you? Keep up. Oh, okay. Right, right. We're sprinting. I only had the one mushroom, Jack. I don't have a lot of stamina. Would it not be more sensible if we got the pigeon who can fly to do a scouting mission and then report back to us? Because apparently we all speak the same language. All forest creatures apparently speak the same language. So why not have him be a scout? Somebody is coming. Yeah, somebody's coming with a bulldozer. Great, it's Watership Down all over again. Uh, people are hostile to me. Yes, they generally are hostile to raccoons. Uh, let's go sneaky mode. Sneaky mode. This is what sneaky mode is made for. Oh, I'm not nudging my backpack. It's just sort of weirdly placed when I look at it dead on. Okay, never mind. Backpack is good. Stay away from them to avoid trouble. Are we supposed to catch up to them, though? Because I'm in sneaky sneak mode. And I move, um, kind of slow when I do that. Let's, uh, let's change it. Oh, bulldozer. Um, can I leap on top of the bulldozer? That would be so cool. I want to see if I can leap on... Can I throw a rock at the bulldozer? Can I Can I jump? Can I jump on this? Can I jump on this? Can I jump on this? I can't jump on that. All right, well, it looks like the forces of evil, i.e. humans, have assembled down here in a little clearing. Let me get back into sneaky sneak mode. Maybe get an eyeball on what's going on here. Oh, hi. Oh, those are other raccoons. That one's wearing a flower, and they're running away. And they're running to chase the raccoons. I don't really think you need to chase raccoons. Definitely don't chase squirrels, man. They are way faster than you. You're not catching up. I'll tell you that right now. I've tried that in my own yard. It didn't work out. Uh, Jack, what do you want to talk to me about? Looks like our home was taken away from us. Yeah, but Jack, we're raccoons. And we, we basically live anywhere we want and eat people's garbage. We're the nomadic wanderers of suburbia. It's going to be fine, Jack. I will distract the people and you free our friends. Why have humans bothered to capture raccoons? This makes no sense. Just, just let them go be somewhere else. If you want to build condos here, they'll just leave. Um, but all right, let's go free our friends. Let's go free our friends. Indicator above the opponent's head shows the level of anxiety. Right. Okay, so we've got a sort of a hitman thing of are they searching for me or are they not? Yellow, they see or hear you. But if I'm in white, I'm good. Uh, where am I supposed to be going? Over here. All right, so we're going to stay sneaky sneak. And if they see us, we can run away. Hopefully, they'll lose interest, and then we can start again. Yeah, so far, so good. They they don't seem to be interested in me at all, unless they're going to start patrolling, Hitman style. If they start moving around, that's going to be a different story. But right now, they're just standing over there, facing the other way, which is really working out for me. I'm moving very slowly, guys, but I am coming to rescue you. Well, that took about 30 minutes, but I'm here, so let's, uh, free you. Yep. Now, did that alert them in any way? No. No, they seem to be completely disinterested in my raccoon liberation here. Ah, there's only two cages here, though. I bet the third one's gonna be in a little tougher place, isn't it? Oh, no. It's, uh, it's actually right there. It's fine. I mean, is there an underground raccoon market that they're selling live raccoons to? I've got to guess the answer is no. Nobody wants to buy a raccoon. Why would you cage them? Because out of the cage, they just run away, which I think is the human's goal in the first place. Oh, it's the guy with glasses, the old raccoon. You can tell he's old because he has glasses. That's how they mark old. That's Thank you for rescuing me. Let's get out of here. Well, yeah, it, that, that's what we're going to do. Oh, except uh, Trank Dart. Trank Dart from Guy... No, 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 that, no, 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 that guy was not over there with a Trank Dart. No, no, that's a little deus ex machina. Oh, uh, you see me though, and I'm Tranked. And I've woken up, but I'm dreaming. I'm in a raccoon dream. That is not something 
I ever thought I'd say in my life. I'm experiencing the dreams of a raccoon. Who knew? Uh, backpack, let's get that. I'll take some stones, because those seem to be very handy. And uh, what, is, what do we got here? What is this? I got some rope. Oh, okay. Rope is good. We like rope. And that's some more rope. Uh, can I get any more rope? No. Uh, take some stones. Okay, I'll get some more. That's fine. Oh, those are empty. All right. Despite those being stones, there's no stones in them. Apparently, these are the only acceptable sto stones. So I'm going to take these. Can move items in the quick access panel. Okay. What do I want to do here? I've got a lot of stuff going on. There's my quick slots. All right, so I've got rock in slot one. I'm, just for giggles, I'm going to put rope. Can I put rope in slot two? I can. Totally can. Okay, I'm not really sure what I need to do yet, but I can stun an enemy by throwing items. Well, I tried that with the squirrel. It didn't work out. But I'll try it with this guy. I mean, we'll see. Uh, can I knock you out with a rock? Yes. Wow, he went down like a lead balloon. All right, stunned opponent can be tied up. Oh, hello. All righty then. Uh, point the camera at him and bind him. Oh, it's getting late night here. Should I not take the weapon? I feel we're leaving the human at an advantage by leaving the trank rifle. Oh, oh, there's another one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's another one. Okay, I got you. I got your number, buddy. I got your number. No oh, 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 they're moving. They're wily. All right, I got your number. No I can't see with the grass. There we go. You're down. Run. Run. Tie him up. Possibly take his weapon. Oh, somebody behind me sees me. That's no good. Uh, let's bind you very, very quickly. And then let's run out of the way. He's going to free him. Okay. All right. Lots of humans with trank darts. I think that's the same guy I knocked out. Um, I do need to stop him. You're right. Uh, you're right. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, go this way. And let's quick... No, no. The grass is in my way here. Knock him out. There we go. But yet that was all a dream and I'm actually in a cage. Right. I have terrible dreams. Well, I mean, I suppose I'm a raccoon who dreams about knocking out humans. That's probably a pretty good dream if you're a raccoon. When you are bushes or tall grass, you become invisible. It's Hitman. All right, so the eyeballs crossed out. I'm in deep cover here. They cannot see me. I am effectively invisible. I have to bypass the bus stop through the bushes. Okay, so just like walk past the bus stop. Are all humans inherently hostile to me? That seems kind of mean. I mean, in, in my personal world, I, I have a live and let live attitude towards raccoons. You don't eat my garbage, I don't hit you with the tranquilizer dart. You do your thing, I do mine. But apparently here, all humans are inherently hostile and will I don't know what they're gonna do. That guy looks like a- that guy's just waiting for a bus. What can he possibly do to me? Oh, wait, wait. It just got Metal Gear Solid. Now I have to hide in a cardboard box as a mobile shelter. Alrighty. Cardboard box. Box. Apparently it's there. Now I have hide- I've hide it. I've hid in the box. Now what do I have to do? This is- Okay. Okay. This is possibly the most adorable thing I've ever seen in a video game. Ever. The little fluffy tail poking out of the box, the butt wiggling, it's all good. Oh, lady over there at the bus stop is kind of red and angry. Yeah, she's got a... She's got an eye that the box just randomly moving across the street with a big fluffy tail and some butt wiggling is possibly... Uh, possibly suspect. Yeah, she's... um, She's not crazy about this. Okay, so we'll just kind of move it slow. Metal Gear Solid style here. No, nothing to see here, just a tail in a box. And she also has a very, very predictable patrol. She turns around, she walks a few steps forward, she gets angry and red, then she stops. And there she goes, there's her turning forward, and then she goes away again. Okay, pretty predictable there, lady. And due to the limitations of physics, I can't get the box any further than this. But that's okay, I'm being told to go hide in a garbage can. That sounds much more raccoon-like if I'm honest about things, and I am. Hide in a garbage bin, in plain sight, and hide fast. All right, security will soon enter the room. What room? I'm so deep in the tall grass, I'm not actually sure where I'm heading. I'm just trying to avoid angry red lady at the bus stop. All right, somebody is coming. I need to hide quick, and I do. All right, I'm right in the trash can here. You walk right by, 
angry red lady is still at the bus stop waiting for a bus. Not many buses in this town. And now I have to search the van. Can I get out of here effectively? I'm gonna try. Let's go back to sneaky sneak mode. That seemed to be working out okay. Ah, it's a raccoon cage van. Got it. One of those. Alright, anyone... Nope, they don't seem to be super interested in me right now. I think they're far enough away I'm good. I'm coming out of sneaky sneak mode here and going into, oh, apparently a cutscene. I'm very confused on which part is the dream and which part isn't. I thought I woke up from the dream and then did the Metal Gear Solid thing in the box, but apparently that was also a dream. I might have woken up again, or I, nope, nope, I'm back in the dream, and this time I get a skateboard. Alright, comments section, I invite your opinion here, as I always do. What's more adorable? Raccoon on a skateboard who got tranquilized, or raccoon in the box with the fluffy tail and the butt wiggle? I invite your opinion in the comments below. And unfortunately, on respawning, I've lost my skateboard, so I guess I'm on foot for this one. That's fine. I'm going to assume that the angry people with the tranquilizer dart are the other way, the way I skateboarded. I'm going to kind of peel off to the side here just in case anyone feels like shooting a trank dart in me. It doesn't look like they do. I don't see anyone around here. I think we're going to be good. Ah, oh, if I had my skateboard, they have a ramp. I could have done a really cool skateboarding trick that I could never do in real life, but I bet I could at least give half a chance to as a raccoon. Ah, oh, there's a ramp. I could have dukes a hazard this right up and gone right over the truck. Oh well. I can use a fire extinguisher as an accelerator while riding the skateboard. So, rocket skateboard raccoon. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I've lost my skateboard game, but I will, um, I will take the fire extinguisher just in case it comes in handy for, you know, extinguishing fires. All right, uh, off to the next checkpoint then. Out, oh, out, oh, I'm being chased. I'm being chased. Let me see if I can work my way into some long grass here. Just random pedestrian, side of the road, decided he doesn't like raccoons. Apparently nobody likes raccoons in this game. All right, he's losing interest. He's losing interest. I would too. I'm just not going to bother chasing a raccoon in my real world life. But he did, and he did for a long time, but he's good now. He's gone. Now what? Then several checkpoints that I've gone through at this point get to another checkpoint. Boy, I would this, bet this would have gone a lot faster with the skateboard. Also, is there anywhere I can rustle up a few mushrooms or apples? Because I am pretty much out of stamina at this point. I'd, I'd like to be able to uh, grab a bite to eat if I could. I've gotten to that checkpoint, that's great. If there's too many more of these, I'm gonna be at this for a while. All right, good, finally, a couple of more checkpoints later and we are finally done with that little race that I should have been doing on a skateboard, but you know, then I got tranked. Okay, is this a dream again? I believe this is a dream again. Seems not all people are aggressive towards me. They could have fooled me. All right, cross the road. Okay, now it's Frogger. All right, so I've taken a Taking a seat in the tall bushes here, and allegedly I'm supposed to get a a bagel? There's a bagel? Oh my god, that's the best news I've heard all day. And a wrench. The wrench is the thing I'm supposed to get. I'm way happier about the bagel, because I need the stamina like nobody's business. Am I eating it? I can't tell. I am eating a bagel. Oh good, I love bagels. Bagels are the best. So now, let's go into uh, sneaky sneak mode here. Oh, there's some more rope too. I should get that if I can. Uh, that, that guy's definitely got an angry eye for me. Very much. Very much. I just want to grab the rope in case I need to tie you up. I often do. All right. Press E to spill water. Okay. Yeah, boy, that hurt. All right. I'm sorry. I, it was a tutorial thing. I, I have no ability to control these things. Um, should I, I should probably go tie you up. I'm going to go tie you up. That Oh, or, or you could just despawn. That works too. Oh, this is great. This is just like, now it's become evil genius. It's just a permanent trap that lives there and throws everyone who walks through it. Here comes somebody. Yep, you got flung into the bushes. Uh, can I tie you up? You're, you're kind of phased through the floor. Yep, I totally can. All right, sorry about this. I mean, you seem to be pretty well bound in the cement, but uh, good good luck with the fire hydrant and the being tied up. It seems like a very eventful day for you. I grabbed some more rope here, but I'm being directed to create yet another ingenious trap. 
I'm going to use E to spill this water. Falling objects create noise, like this television. Would you like me to destroy this television? Because I could do that. Uh, let's go ahead and tip that over. And you fall down. You knock the television over. And I'm trying to tie him up. Honestly, I'm working on it. There we go. Let's tie you up. Hopefully somebody won't come along and untie you. Wow. You guys, um, you guys lead interesting lives. All right, what do we got here? What is this? I don't know what that is. That's just the door? That is just the door. Okay. I'm, I'm being told to kind of figure it out at this point. This is where it's all going to go wrong. Can I... I think, I think what we're trying to do here is... Yeah, we're trying to tie a rope across here. And the, oh, okay, I, I see what we're kind of doing here. We're going to make a tripwire kind of thing. Except how am I... Do I want to open the door? Because I seem to have the rope. The rope seems to be under my control. I want to use this. And then I want to I create a tripwire. How's this all going to work out? Nobody come and untie that guy, if you could. I'm very, very busy right now. Oh, no, no, no. Somebody's untying that guy. This is exactly what I said I didn't want to have happen. I, I know there's got to be something with the rope. It just doesn't seem to want to do what I want it to do. Uh, you you go here and then then go go here. Can I can I can I, I I want sir sir could you come outside so I can trip you? There we go. Okay, it was a little fidgety, little fidgety, but I got it. Oh oh, hang on, hang. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, he's kicking me. He, what? That was mean. Oh no 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 no! I I respawned right in front of him, and and now I'm gonna be in a cage again. No no, this is just not working. I immediately respawn right in front of him, and then he immediately kicks me in the face and puts me in a box. It's like my early twenties all over again. Well, this has become increasingly Kafka-esque at this point, guys. I think that is an excellent place to call it on Wanted Raccoon. Do please. Let me know what you think of this, what you are thinking of this, what you thought of this, all of the above or none of the above. I, I get the idea. We didn't, I don't think we got very far in this, but I get the idea. I get what they're going for there. Um, so again, it's it's Hitman, but I'm a raccoon. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that, especially when I'm getting kicked over and over and then put in a box. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this shirtless nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know when those alarm company advertisements say somebody's the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds? It's these guys. It's the Powells. They are, in fact, the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds because, um, me. Pablo here is looking for a little, um, little, uh, little favor. A little financial favor from El Devo Magnifico. Citizens Tropico, everything is under control. This is, this is not a fire. This is not a fire. This is an aggressive urban redevelopment program.